All right, thanks for joining me again today. This is video number three in the Airplane Shelf Project video series. So again, this is, air, this is video number three. And today, I just real quick want to go over all the parts and pieces that we have. So right now, this shelf, the wings, are 32 inches wide. And what I ended up with once I squared uh, the edges of the rough cut lumber, I ended up with seven and a eighth. Seven and an eighth, I believe, is what it was. That's correct. So the depth of it will be seven and an eighth. Um, and then I've got my two wing struts that I'll be working on today. We'll be cutting this out today. And that one was eight inches high and six inches wide. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to turn out, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, and what I did here was measured one inch all the way up and down and one inch all the way on this side, front and back, and then uh, made one inch come center to where, um, i trying to remember how I actually did that, where this point would intersect the wing and this point I just came center of that and then drew a line center and then marked that out each way half inch each way of center so this line came all the way down and this line came all the way up and at that point I drew a line across and then I went half inch either way to give me my diagonal piece so we're gonna go cut this out okay so we got our parts and pieces cut out our wing struts right here and I was routing the edges on these and I knew I was going to have this problem but I thought I was going to be able to overcome it but I took the ball bearing off the top of my router bit and I tried to to cut this out well as you can see uh, to me that is unacceptable I would never uh, put that on something so these two pieces are not usable and I've been playing uh, with the cut and I thought I had it figured out and I've got it pretty close so what I had to do was take two inches from the top and bottom I went two inches from my router bit and marked it <clears throat> and then that's where I I made a square line between these two angles uh, a line this direction and I cut down and just rounded out the edge. I actually traced my ball bearing out. Um, I should have went two and an eighth because I can't quite cut that corner all the way out. But that's what I'm going to end up with. I, I'm pleased with this. It's not perfect, but it turned out okay. Um, <clears throat> so if you were going to make this, you need to make sure that your router bit will be able to get all the way in that corner. With that being said, as you know, this material came off of our property that we have milled. So this is actually wood that we have handled all the way from a tree to, um, you know, a product. And so <clears throat> this is the last piece that I have. So no, no more room for mistakes. And I would not normally put this uh, out as a product. You know, like I, I had these nice boards here. But the last piece um, that I have, it has the little holes here that the termites, I guess, got into it. So we're going to cut that out. Hopefully that will turn out okay. Um, and, and then I'll have two wing struts that will be nice and routed. Okay, so we got our pieces cut out on the miter saw 
and it saves so much time because uh, with this hard oak and this uh, actual scroll saw that I've got, um, it's, it's very slow cutting. good. So I'm going to make a test route and just check to see how that does. All right, so I mentioned these, we ripped these two inch pieces and this is gonna be what holds the shelf up. We'll mount, we'll uh, nail the strap, the shelves to this and glue it. So we need that to be the same length. And after routing the wing edge here, um, what we need to do is we need to cut the right length of these back pieces the little hanger strips. So I've got it lined up and I've already marked it. But what I want this edge right here, I want that edge to line up with this routed edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and then reroute this edge again. <clears throat> here again, we'll be in close proximity to the router wheel. So you definitely don't wanna get your fingers caught in the blade. So always wanna be on top of the wood. And here's the wheel that I was telling you about. You gotta be able to get that into the, the corners. And that's where my issue was with the other two struts. Here we go. get it quite like I want it here so I'm probably gonna take another little slice off this center piece to try to get a little bit more routed edge here. okay so I just did the diagonal piece just cut a little bit more and then I'm gonna go back to the scroll saw and kind of round that out so hopefully I'll be able to cut get a little bit better routed edge here just kind of doing all this by eyeball. I don't have a plan. So this is my first time doing the, the wing struts and all like this. If you watched the other video, you saw I just had those dowels. So uh, I'm looking at two and a half inches from the outside edge to mount the wing strut. And so I'm gonna put this band, the back band that goes on the back that you'll mount to the wall. I need to make that cut. And that ended up being um, 25 and 3 eighths. So I need, in order to go on the inside of these wing struts, it'll be 25 and 3 eighths. And that should put us uh, right at two and a half inches for this particular shelf. All right, so thanks for joining me today. Uh, I do appreciate you watching this video series and all your comments. And uh, what I have now is a question for you. Now on the one that I built for myself, uh, I used these uh, wheels gear set and it's a just a spring gear set 
that is actually used on RC control, remote control airplanes. So let me know your comments. Um, it looks pretty good and I've actually looked at several pictures of airplanes and they have similar type gear, spring gear. Uh, so I, I'm thinking about going ahead and using this gear that I've already purchased to put on there. It will save me a little bit of time and I could go ahead and get this project out. But <clears throat> uh, I could also make some out of the oak that I have. So I'm kind of going either way. Um, just let me know your comments and if I haven't already made the decision I will definitely consider these comments. So uh, remember, now each uh, one of these videos in this series, this is video number three, you have to comment on the video, on each video, and use the keyword uh, airplane in the comments on each video. And then at the end, I will go ahead and make that random drawing. All right, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.